Aloha, it's Chandler Rose, and this is massage for pain related to working at a desk. Um, laying supine, which is laying face up. This is also a video that will teach you how to work on some of these points if you're experiencing this issue yourself. You can use some of this for you. So please follow along. I always like to start by taking a few slow grounding, relaxing breaths. I'm here with Mercedes who's had these chronic issues due to working at a desk for a while. So she knows what it's like to be really tight and work long hours. And if that's you, this could be super helpful. I'm going to start on the right side, the right arm. This is really good if you're feeling tension in the hand or tingling down the arms. I like to think with massage, you are working on certain parts, but those parts affect the whole being. And the more you unwind each individual part, the more the whole body can relax from head to toe. So I'm just starting by squeezing into the palms. And you can give a little squeeze without oil into the extensors. The extensors are the muscles that run on the top of your forearm and the flexors, which are responsible for flexing the hand, are the ones that run uh, on this side. So I'm gonna place one hand under uh, the forearm, the bottom part of the arm, and just squeeze in towards the elbow. And you can see maybe a little better if I turn her this way. And a flat thumb is a really good way to just give this solid static pressure. And I would gently play around with a little rotation as you're working, squeezing into the extensors. It gives the, uh, the person you're working with kind of more of an idea of where they might be holding a certain posture. Specifically working at a desk can cause a little rotation in the shoulders, making the shoulders kind of more forward and that has to do with the pecs being tight and that can be from having your hands in front of you working at a computer maybe you're using a mouse this also is really common with people that drive holding the steering wheel and having your your arms engaged in that way can also cause this sort of tension so palpating is the term that we use for just feeling out the tissue quality. Maybe it's rock hard in the forearms. Maybe you have a lot of give and elasticity in the skin. Uh, healthy muscle tissue is tissue that doesn't feel super painful Healthy tissue also is more malleable or 
squishy. Uh, you can kind of get inventive with that term, but you really want the muscle tissue to feel soft. Um, I also see this happen a lot in people that lift weights due to gripping the weights. So if you're a weightlifter, this can also be helpful. And I would recommend not lifting weights after doing this work, maybe even for a few days up to a week. Lifting weights or working at a computer or holding a steering wheel can really create hypertonicity in the muscle or tension. You're basically staying flexed. And the idea of massage is to unwind and allow the body to be aware of where there might be flexion or holding patterns. Some of us get so used to working at a computer or a desk that our muscles are flexed even when we're relaxed, in a relaxed position. So I'm gripping her hand a little with my left side or my bottom hand and I'm using my thumb with my right hand just dragging down into these extensors. And sometimes they almost feel like guitar strings. These little muscles in the upper arm or lower arm, upper meaning near the elbow. So you can cross fiber friction them as well, just by kind of blipping over that tissue It's also important to mention that if you're working at a desk and you're feeling tingling in the hand or any tension in the neck related to that posture, there's a nerve that could be squeezed by the tension in the muscles in the lower and upper arm. This nerve is called the median nerve. And this nerve runs through this area and down into the wrist. And over time, when the neck is tight and the shoulder is tight and then the elbow and the hand, this nerve gets squeezed here in the carpals. You might hear someone say they have carpal tunnel, which could mean that their arm is tight. It could be as simple as loosening up the arm. That tunnel in the carpals, which are these bones here, has this median nerve. And so over time, that squeezing of this nerve can cause tingling in the hand. The other cause can be the muscles in the anterior neck. The scalenes are the only group in the neck that cause tingling to happen in the hand. Another nice way to open up the wrist is to open the palm. And you can give a little traction stretch, almost like you're waving hello. And then with the thumb, just a gentle stretch. If you're working at a desk, maybe something helpful would be doing these stretches when you're feeling tight. And also taking your other, your other hand into this bony area in the palm and stretching and spreading this tissue here. 
which can allow those bones a little movement. They're stacked so tightly together and then you have that median nerve in here. So any stretch or massage in the palm can affect this nerve in a way that will really offer relief. It's also, in my opinion, super relaxing to have your palm, palms worked on in this way. And when I'm working on the arm, I like to check in with my client to see if they're holding. If you lift their arm, are they helping you? Are they holding the arm up? Because this is sort of a desk, desk posture we get stuck in. Or are they letting their shoulder fall down towards the table? Letting their shoulder kind of roll back a bit? Letting their elbow relax? Just the awareness of how much we might be holding our arms in a position and not allowing them to be completely relaxed. Even that in itself can be really helpful. Just the noticing of that holding pattern. So we loosen up the extensors, we loosen up the palm, we move the arm to try to figure out if there's a holding pattern. And I like to place the hand in a different position just to create a little new pattern here. Another, and not everyone will do this if they're really tight, but just the idea of opening the palm out versus laying like this, which is a very common posture if you're working at a desk. It's really easy to just lay like this. If you open the palm up, you're getting a stretch through the bicep through the elbow and down into the hand. And that might mean that your person's hand is off the table, but that's a subtle stretch, a reminder of maybe the tension that's working in the pack. So I'm gonna set her just like this. It's okay to curl the fingers in if that's what's natural. getting a little more of my rose infused organic oil. I like to use oils that absorb right into the skin as opposed to sitting on top of the skin. That can be nourishing for the brain and the body as well as the skin and muscle structures. And I'm just taking some simple Swedish stretching strokes which can show maybe there's a little tenderness in the shoulder due to being forward. Noticing and then the idea of connecting into the pec. Pec major and pec minor you also have these little muscles between the rib cage. Muscles between the rib cage or ribs. They're called intercostals. You can take your fingers and find these little train tracks and then work all the way out towards the pec attachment, which a lot of times is sore on desk people computer, hardworking video editors, anyone that's concentrating and focusing, you're giving them a reminder that their body is doing a lot. And I like to sweep through the entire arm just to connect and her wrist popped a little bit. It's kind of a nice little traction-y stretch. And 
Now I'm going to open up the other side of the body, change spots so I can access that arm. Alright, we're on the right side of the body, which is more commonly an area of complaint if you're right dominant or right handed. Uh, you might feel more tension on this side. So I'm just starting by palpating the tissue, feeling where maybe she's tight around her elbow, the pec attachment, the deltoids, and then into the palm. Working into the palm is a really good way to relax anyone at the beginning of a massage. Just doing some subtle stretches. You have this thumb joint where a lot is happening for the wrist and arm with a desk job, with any kind of work, um, where you're using a cell phone a lot. A lot of times this muscle here gets really overdeveloped. So loosening that just by doing some petrissage, which is a term for kneading the muscle. It's probably the most common type of massage that you can get is petrissage. It's a little opening of that joint. And then again, you have the carpals, the extensors are the muscles on top of the arm. The flexors are responsible for flexing the hand. So you have the biceps and the pec attachment. You have the extensors. And a lot of times you're gonna see this sort of inward rotation for someone that's at a desk in this position. Maybe they're texting in this position or using some sort of technical part of the computer. So any tractioning is just a slight pulling of the shoulder, noticing the elbow joint and the wrist. This can be so subtle, it's probably even hard to see what I'm doing, but this is like a subtle pulling, opening of those little joints in the hand. You can also kind of sandwich the hand and do a little traction that way through the fingertips. So just massaging through the fingers can really loosen the hand. So I'm going to place her elbow in a little rotated position here. And just take a note on this side. The extensors are often the ones that cause tingling in the hand. If these are really tight in the elbow, they're actually squeezing that median nerve. So I like to turn the arm in such a way where you're really getting access to that hypertonicity or tension on the top of the arm. Go back to my organic, lovely, absolute rose massage oil. So relaxing, very good for that level of slip running over the extensors into the bicep, into the pec attachment. And then using my thumb, squeezing in with the left hand. And I like to think of this place as being very full of chi. That can be a strong sensation. Really good to take some slow, deep breaths. Feeling those guitar strings, those really taut fibers that are helping with the handiwork of your hands and wrists. The holding of things, the texting, mouse possibly is really dominant here in this position. This can feel fiery. It can feel really sore. It can feel achy. And this right here is a really good spot to learn 
how to do self-massage. If that's one important tip to take away from this video. When you have symptoms in the hand like tingling or tension, work with your other hand using your thumb and rake through these tender spots. That will help loosen the arm and reduce your, your pain. Giving her a little soothing stretch through the hand after that deeper work. You can see she's kind of rosy, kind of rosy in the extensor area. I'm gonna place one hand this way. Do a little rotation around the shoulder. One hand on top, one hand on the bottom. Acknowledging the pec and the connections of the pec. Maybe you can really sense that that shoulder wants to drop back. The rotation, just that little stretch in the pec can really allow the deltoid, the meaty part of the arm to loosen. Those nerves can be relaxed. Less compression is very good for reducing pain. And you can play with the position of the hand, offer a little stretch. I hope you learned some techniques to take care of your body and feel better. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you very soon. If you enjoy these videos, please join us at PsycheTruthPatrons.com for dozens of exclusive videos and premium programs. We have over a thousand videos you won't find on YouTube, such as modeling and fashion hauls, exclusive massage videos, ASMR, behind the scenes, bloopers, and much more. It's a great way to help us keep the cameras rolling so we can continue making the content you love. Patrons will get two to three new exclusive videos each week, so I hope you'll consider joining our Patreon family today. Just visit PsycheTruthPatrons.com.